Scott Cunningham, founder of Arclight Dynamics. In this video, we're going to be discussing an error on a cut and how you recover from it. So first off, I want to quick pull up sheet cam and show you something. Um, I'm going to need a quick file to cut out. And so what I want to do is show you this uh, shape cutting library that's in sheet cam. Okay, if I double click on this, I can pull up new shape and then I can pull up various brackets and then also basic shapes. Pretty limited, um, pretty simple stuff. I'm going to create a rectangle. And click OK. I'm going to place this rectangle at the lower left of my material. Basically. Ideally, you want to be you want to be on the material. Okay? So this is where you can change the size of the material or the height of it. I'm going to make it 5 by 3. Okay? I'm going to go over there and click on this arrow right here. And then I'm going to move this by clicking on this nesting tab. And I can click and drag this, move it down to the bottom left corner. Okay, so I'm pretty close to the lower left. I can also use my arrow keys to adjust it, but I don't have to be any closer than that. So now I have my square rectangle that I'm going to cut out for this uh, demo, and I'm going to create a operation for it. So I can either go down to here, click on new jet cutting operation, or I could go up to here under operation. I'm just going to click on new jet cutting operation. I'm going to set it up for a fine cut 45 amp 14 gauge steel. I'm going to do outside offset. The layer is shape because there is no default layer so I have to check that. Okay, You can see the layers over here. And that's it. I'm going to set my soft pierce to 100. Okay, use standard rules and then click OK. Okay, so the machine's going to start up here and then cut apart. So now I go File, Run Post Processor, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Just test one. Now we'll open up Command CNC. Okay, so now I've opened up Command C and C. I'm going to go up to Open and click on Test 1 and bring it in. Now I've positioned my torch in the right location. I'm going to zero out my X and my Y, drop my torch down a little bit more, and zero out my Z. Now I've already set my home position. That hasn't changed. So what we're going to do is an error on a cut. So the machine sometimes will give you an error during a cut instead of on the pierce. So this could be that the machine lost air pressure in the middle of the cut. It could be that the consumables had a problem in the middle of the cut. Um, there's a lot of different reasons. And so you it's Repair, <clears throat> recovering from it is slightly different than an error on a pierce. Okay, so the first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this cut. I hit run. Sheen asked me to check all my settings. As usual, we go through our checklist. I have the plasma set up right. This part's been programmed for fine cut. My air pressure is on. There's nothing in the way of the machine running. I got the right material on the, on the um, table. So now I'm ready to hit resume. And so what I'm going to do here, during the cut, I'm going to turn off the plasma cutter okay, with the big switch on the back. And that's to essentially kill the plasma. And the machine's going to stop. And this is going to replicate an error on a cut. And so I, I recommend you practice along with me and run through these steps till they become uh, basically you, you can remember them very easily. Okay? 
So we've done our checklist. I'm going to hit resume. The machine's going to move. Start the cut. In the middle of the cut, I'm going to turn off the torch and stop it. Okay. So, as you can see, the machine started going through its cut. I killed the plasma, and we ended up with a fault. As you can see, we have a fault right there. And so, the machine is trying to fire the torch, but the motion hold is on because it lost the arc OK signal. So the first step, just like before, is always hit the stop button. Turns the torch off, pulls it out of the run mode. Okay, so now I figure out why did my torch stop in the middle of the cut. Okay. In this case, it was, I turned it off. It could have been air pressure, like I said. There's a lot of different reasons. Okay, but you generally always check the plasma first. Okay. So in order to rewind the cut in continuous, basically what I'm going to do is use rewind to the previous, in this case it's going to be previous M0, uh, M1, it would be the M5, okay? But what I need to do is have the machine go back through the touch off, fire the torch, continue its motion, and I'm going to have the machine turn on the torch once it gets to the, right next to the area of the cut that it needs to finish, okay? So I hit, click on the M1. Next step, I'm going to click Disable Torch. I'm going to turn my torch height control off. I'm going to turn it to manual and then turn it to off. So this is going to allow me to manually control the torch. And so basically, I'm going to hit the run from line. The machine's going to back up, touch off. It's not going to fire the torch. It's going to move through the cut. And as soon as the torch gets right into this area, right in here, I'm going to uncheck disable torch. The torch will fire, and then I can click the DTHC or torch height control back into auto and allow it to adjust, okay? So, run from line, let it get to where it, close to where it stopped, uncheck disable torch, and then turn your torch height control back on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna click resume. Get ready to uncheck this. So, I was able to simply pick back up where the cut left off. Let's see if I can show you. You'll see a very slight deviation right there. Kind of hard for me to get into focus. But that is the, the double cut area where the torch started and stopped again. And so, but still, we got good cut quality overall. I was able to pick back up and finish my part. So I'm gonna go over that one more time. So I'm gonna rewind my code. Drop back down. And then get the machine ready to cut. I'm gonna double check. Everything's set up. Oh, I'm glad I checked. I neglected to zero out my X. So if I had run it, the machine would have gone back and cut in the same spot. Okay. So I'm gonna click stop. Zero my X. And now I'm gonna hit run. Everything else is set up. My torch height control is set to auto. My disable is not, or torch is not checked. So the machine will cut like normal. Halfway through this cut, I'm gonna turn off the power on the torch to stop the torch.
Okay. We got our error on the cut. First step. Hit the stop button. Stops the torch from trying to fire. Pulls it out of run mode. Now I figure out why my plasma cutter turned off. Next step, we rewind to the previous M5 or M1. In this case, it's the M1. Okay. I click on Disable Torch, and I turn my torch I have control to manual and turn it to off. Now I'm going to hit the Run From Line button right here. And then I'm going to hit Resume. When the machine gets close to where it stopped cutting, I'm going to uncheck Disable Torch and then turn on my torch icon. I recommend you practice that along with an error on a pierce. Between those two things, that's going to cover just about every error you're going to have on the machine. So, practice it, practice it, practice it. And if you look in your manuals, you will find detailed written out instructions on how to do each of these operations, which can be very helpful. Thanks for watching and I hope that video was helpful. Please remember our primary goal is to make your purchase profitable. So don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can reach us at 866-222-2154 or head over to our website where you'll find a complete list of all of our training materials. Thank you.